Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a quick fishing report for your weekend outlook. Right now we're super excited. We've got a nice long stretch of beautiful weather. As you can see behind me, it is absolutely beautiful here inside John's Pass. It is spring and it spring has sprung. I mean, look at that bright blue sky. We're in the middle of a little bit of a high uh, pressure right now, kind of a weak high pressure, but it creates those bluebird skies. And it is so nice out here inside the pass with still a little cool in the morning warming up a lot during the day but really as far as the eye can see forecast wise it's less than 10 to 15 mile an hour winds less than one one and a half foot seas tuesday it gets a little bumpy but not bad at all and by bumpy i mean it's like a foot and a half right the rest of the time is less than a foot so weather does not get better forecasts do not get better it is spectacular and the fish are biting. We're catching a lot right now offshore, crushing the big fat red grouper, doing really well on our long range overnight trips on big, big fat red grouper. 12 hour extreme is two. It is a great time to target those red grouper out deep. Plus we're seeing some nice trigger fish, some big scamp grouper, the mangrove snapper. I've been cooperating so well. Plus, Wahoo, that's been the big story lately. The last long range trip had four Wahoo on the hook and it was really, really cool to see so much pelagic action. A lot of other friends are reporting from offshore. The blackfin tuna are jumping in the boats. We're seeing a lot of big kingfish out there as well. So kingfish, blackfin tuna, Wahoo, we've got a ton of grouper action on the bottom. Snapper are biting well. Lots of heads and tails with vermilions, porgies, almacos. Great time to head out there deep and catch some fish near shore right now we're seeing a lot of good action on the red grouper really picking up on the 10 hour trip we're seeing more and more red grouper being caught the hogfish bite has slowed down a little bit but those red grouper have stepped up in a big way to help fill in the gap we're seeing a lot of lane snapper some good mangrove snapper there's a ton of mackerel and kingfish near shore right now so a lot of good uh, pelagic action up on the surface the last 10 hour even had a sailfish come cruising by the boat and hung around the boat for a little while but as you guys have known I've, I've been saying for a while Smokey's lost a step and uh, he couldn't get it to bite unfortunately but maybe he will this week uh, we've been seeing a lot of kingfish on the flat lines on our five hour trips ten hour trips we've been seeing a lot of uh, mackerel and kingfish trolling on our five hour half days we've been seeing a lot of the uh, hogfish still being caught not a lot of hogfish but we're seeing a handful of hogfish still being caught half days are catching one two three ten hours are catching a handful Full. So you still have a chance for the hogfish, but definitely more of a red grouper focus, lane snapper, mangrove snapper focus with the side of mackerel and kingfish near shore. Then inshore right now, we're seeing a lot of the snook. They're really thick right now. Still a handful of sheep's head, but a lot of the mangrove snapper are starting to take over. We got a lot of good trout action. Redfish are around pretty heavy. Pompano out on the beaches, really going well right now too. Plus early season tarpon, a lot of sharks around. There's tons of bait. So really good opportunities all the way around, inshore, near shore, and offshore. Hopefully we'll see you for final Friday, April 26th from 6 to 9 p.m. Hopefully we'll see you for our Sunday night live stream show every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Hopefully we'll see you for our Saturday morning radio shows from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. as well. So come out and join us. Come see us out here on the water. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Y'all have a great day. Tight lines. Thanks for watching.